Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. All right, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show right now. Eric, how are you doing today? Hey, Jello. Doing great. Perfect, doing perfect. Wonderful. We're very excited to have you here on the podcast again. This is your second time here. We're very, very excited. To let you know, we have a lot of listeners who are also business owners just like you. So I need your help. Can you introduce yourself to our audience? Um, maybe we can start off with what is your role in the business, Eric? Eric Hansen, uh, the Hansen team, Keller Williams Real Estate in beautiful Pensacola, Florida. And uh, I am the rainmaker, if you will, the founder, CEO, CFO, COO. I don't know. There's lots of COs in there. Uh, my wife is the true boss, though. Uh, if you own a team, you understand that. Uh, and my wife and I run the team together. And we're about 17 years into the business. Wow. A lot of experience right there. Now, I want to know, how long have you been partnered with Cyberbacker, Eric? We celebrated our one-year anniversary just in the last month. So we're 11 months or, or 13 months. Excuse me. 13, 13 months. months. Wow, very, very exciting. Of course, more years to come, of course. Now, um, how did you find Cyberbacker, Eric? Um, I believe Cyberbacker uh, was introduced to me at one of the family reunion years ago, and I didn't jump right in, but I heard of it. I knew what it was. And so, yeah, it was a Keller Williams event. Okay, a Keller Williams event. Now, what made you jump the chip, of course, and be a part of the Cyberbacker family? Honestly, what it was, um, was a few of my real estate buddies had hired a virtual assistant, not Cyberbacker though, other companies. And there were some failures. There were some not so good things with these other companies. But then I had a conversation and he was having a wonderful time with virtual assistant and the concept. And so I asked him lots of questions and I was really diving in. After that conversation, I said, you know, I'm sold. I'm going to go take a chance. And I remembered Cyberbacker. So I just jumped right in. Okay, so you really heard experiences from other people. Good things. Good things. Okay. Now, before you started, before you got partnered with Cyberbacker, of course, you would need to create that give up list, the list of tasks that you would want your Cyberbacker to handle for you. So what were these things that you needed help with before you got partnered with your Cyberbacker? Yeah, uh, for us, it, it, it dove right into the listing side. Uh, so listing maintenance, uh, inputting listings, data entry within the MLS. And that then grew into lots of other tasks, uh, including assisting on transaction coordinator. And so our cyberbacker is not the main transaction coordinator, uh, more of a, a, a um, assistant uh, partner role with the main TC. And we also have a listing manager. And so our, our cyberbacker, Ivy, uh, works with both of them and um, does an amazing job. So I could go on and on and on about all the tasks that now we have her do, but back then it was that very simply, the listing side. Okay, so the listing side then. Now, um, I forgot to ask, was this your first time working with someone virtually or did you have experience prior? Totally first time, no, no first experience time. prior. I, I, was, uh, I was one of those people that I always felt that I had to have people in the building. I had to kind of like be able to like touch them and hold them and hug them and, and, and I had to have the physical presence. And it was just something in my head that I felt like I had to have that um, until I discovered um, Cyberbacker and Ivy. I, and now I, my whole world has changed. <laughs> now, how was the transition though? Of course, being used to working with people, being in the office to now having someone working with you virtually. It was a slow transition, I would say. I, I, don't, I don't think we jumped right in full force uh, and that's our own fault. It wasn't really because of any fear. It was really because um, I kind of just ripped the bandaid off and then and came on Cyberbacker, went through everything really quickly, got our uh, Cyberbacker going, Ivy going, and then didn't have full-time work to give her. Um, so I just slowly gave it. So it started out with 20 hours and then 25 and, and then eventually 40. But it, there was a very quick impact from that part-time work that then blossomed. So it did immediately show up as a huge leverage and benefit. Um, plus, we have an amazing cyber backer that's just the sweetest and hardest working, super smart person. So I assume all cyber backers are just like my Ivy, 
but I don't know that. All I know is that mine is wonderful. She's great. And I would hire her again and again and again. <laughs> I believe so. Everyone in cyberbackers is like that. I hope so, but I, I'm sure that. I, <laughs> I'm know, sure yeah, that. I don't know. <laughs> I like you, Jello. <laughs> Thanks for that, Eric. <laughs> now, um, how about Ivy? I want to talk about her real quick. What can you tell me about her personality? She is a wonderful support person. She loves administrative, behind the scenes, wants to tackle any project. Uh, we've given her some unique things um, that involved calling uh, people here in Pensacola to schedule things or to get pricing for things and uh, wonderfully tackled those without a problem. And, um, you know, no language barrier, no, no hiccups, no slowdowns, um, but her personality is just really sweet, uh, welcoming, wants to work hard, hasn't missed a day of work, uh, not one time. And, um, you know, she's worked way more hours than I have. I know that. <laughs> so uh, she, she's been incredible. So just a, a sweet, young, uh, hardworking uh, Ivy. Right, that's I very agree. smart too. Very smart. I don't want to very underestimate smart. that. She is extremely smart. <laughs> now, of course, before you got partnered with Ivy, you went through the hiring process. So, how did you know that it was Ivy, the match that you have, the cyber backer is for you? That was tough. Honestly, your company provided sixty, and then it got down to fifteen, and then ten, and then we got to the final three, and then I brought in a few more of my own team to kind of interview and talk to and. We came down to the final two and, and it was tough. They were both amazing. And we kind of just went with our gut and just said, you know, Ivy. And so it was a tough decision, you know, uh, and I think it took about, what, what, what would you say, Joe, about two weeks? I think, Maybe yes, three? two weeks. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it wasn't very long. I mean, it was a quick process. <laughs> we just got, you guys are amazing, very efficient. So once you got going, we just had to show up and then interview and ask questions and, I'm one of those people. I just go off my 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 feeling and my gut, and um, it was a tough one. I mean, it was it was tough. And we got we, you know the other person could have been just as amazing as Ivy. I don't know. I hope he's out there doing an amazing thing for for whoever he's working for. But That's Ivy's right. our girl. <laughs> Ivy's your girl, of course. Your side your of the backer. Yeah. Now, um, I'd like to ask. Would you say that hiring or partnering with a cyber backer is a significant investment for your business? Yeah, investing in people is the number one thing you know that we can do. You know, for what the value we receive in return, just like anybody that you hire, whether it's a virtual assistant or somebody in the building, uh, a, a director or an admin, that investment is significant, very significant. And I'm one of those people that uh, I understand leverage, and I've always done this. It's the virtual assistant concepts new. 13 months in. However, I've always invested in people and I'll, I'll invest in people before I even need to. I'll go ahead and get ahead of something. And, and I might have like, like Ivy, honestly, I hired uh, you guys, Cyberbacker, probably because I only got part-time work. You could say maybe three or four months too soon because I wasn't quite all the way ready to give full-time work but I was paying for full-time work, but I would never go back and regret it. I don't regret it at all. I think the investment of that was, was well worth it. So definitely a, a significant investment that pays off big time. All right. That's yeah. good to know. Super uh, leverage. Just, just leverage, you know. Yeah, right. Now, I think it's going to be a new trend, especially not just in real estate, but any other business. Don't you agree? The virtual leverage piece. Yes, yes. very much so. Yeah. Now, I can already feel that there's this real good connection between you and Ivy, your cyber backer. So I'd like to know, how did it get this far? How did it become a successful partnership, Eric? I would say, you know, I mean, time. It did take time. Um, I think as, as you start to let things go and let her take over, let the trust, you know, um, let the trust uh, take over, if you will, and uh, let go of any doubts. You know, it, was, um, it wasn't very long. You know, I think it probably was a month or so before we realized, okay, she's got this. Um, because you, you guys do a lot of training up front before they ever even come to me. But then when you come to me, there's still more training that's individually to Pensacola and our specific market and our MLS. And so that takes a while to learn all that stuff. But I would say she learned very quickly, um, probably 30 to 60 days. Things were really clicking. And after about that 60 day mark, I finally freed up my time to be able to give her more work. So it didn't take too long, though. I mean, she really fit right in. We have Zoom calls in the mornings on Mondays. We have team meetings every other Wednesday. Um, we have uh, admin meetings. So I was on Zoom with her 
two, three, four times a week and then calls and yeah. So building on the trust and the communication as well with your cyber backer to make this blossom. Huge. Yeah. Yes. Very simply get on Zoom. We hit record. Uh, that's a training. Mm -hmm. So we're just talking and it's like me and you now. Mm -hmm. And then I would, I would show share screen and everything would be recorded. And then mm -hmm. Ivy would go back and study it and watch it and study it and watch it and then just do it. And now she's just, she doesn't need to be trained at all. She just goes. <laughs> she got when, everything. I mean, her. whenever we have something new, of course, but there's no, she doesn't really come to us and say, how do you do this? Mm -hmm. She just, just knows exactly what to do. She just runs with it then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I know that Ivy's going to be listening once we have this out, this episode uploaded, yeah. of course. So I'd like to know, what is the best part hey, about Ivy. <laughs> What's the best part about Ivy, your cyber backer? Oh, Jello, why are you going <laughs> to ask me that? Uh, pr probably her personality. I mean, she's just sweet and, and very accommodating and supportive and, you know, just a sweet soul. Love her like a little family. We're Facebook friends and she's just, She's a part of our family and I, we're huggers here. We like to touch. I hated COVID because you couldn't touch anybody. <laughs> and, then, you know, you're the man. Yeah. And so I just wish we could wrap our arms around her and bring her right into the building. And maybe someday, Ivy, we can make that happen. Yeah. Uh, but um, no, just just how sweet and kind and, and accommodating her her style. I like her style. We are just very excited to see where this partnership is going to be in the next year, of course, and more years to come. Eric, Thank you very I'll... much for being on the show today. Hey, man. Jello for you, anything. Thanks, Eric. I'll see you real soon, okay? All right. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website, www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.